garage in my mind is where it lives. Sleek. Beautiful. Powerful. Near it, I'm free. Sitting in it transforms me into another world. One touch, and she appears. My passenger. I'm no one's passenger. I have my own ride. sleep on the job. <laughs> They're ready for us. Come on, we've got a show to do. All right, let's do a show. Welcome to Inside the LA Auto Show. Over the next hour, we're going to show you as many new cars, trucks, and exotics as we can. And in order to do that, we're going to have to split up. I'm sorry, but before we go our separate ways, we want to give you a brief history of the LA Auto Show. From its humble beginnings with cars like Maxwell, Peerless, Overland, and White, what began at Morley Skating Rink back in 1907 was the turning of a key that powered the LA Auto Show into what it is today. Like the city of LA and the people who call it home, the Auto Show is resilient. Having been around for more than a century, the show has faced some hardships. In 1929, an electrical malfunction caused a fire resulting in over a million dollars in damages. And in 1940, when America entered World War II, the show was put on hold for 11 years. But in the 50s, it was going strong again. Today, the LA Auto Show has grown into a 10-day long exhibit featuring hundreds of cars from around the world. And with 3,000 attending in 1907, today, the number is nearly a million. While much has changed over the past hundred years, one thing hasn't, our love for cars. We've just given you a little past and present, now for some future. When moviegoers saw Tom Cruise driving a science fiction looking BMW in Mission Impossible, many thought the car was just a Hollywood prop. But BMW has a vision. And that vision could be headed to showrooms very soon. The BMW i8 Spider concept is BMW's take on the next generation of sports cars. Spider in car talk means convertible. The i8 Spider concept is the roadster version of a coupe that debuted three years ago. Inside, the view shows a partly transparent hood shaped like a V that makes the i8 look like a speedboat cutting through the water. It runs on a standard combustion engine, plus plug-in electric power, so it can go from 0 to 60 in less than 5 seconds without draining the fuel tank. The front wheels get their power from an electric motor that can take a full charge in just 2 hours. The rear wheels are powered by a small but potent turbocharged 3-cylinder gas engine. Electric only. The German automaker says the i8 is good for 20 miles before needing a recharge. And from its conventional engine, the company hopes to get close to 100 miles per gallon. For now, BMW isn't saying when or even if a production version of the i8 Spider concept might hit the streets. But since the Mission Impossible Coupe could arrive in 2014, it might be possible for this convertible version to follow soon after. Now this, this is truly spectacular. I'm afraid to breathe on it right now. It is a Bentley designed specifically for the track. It's long, it's low to the ground, and it has a spoiler in the back that's big enough to double as a sail. This 
is the Bentley Continental GT3. A concept car for now, but insiders think it signals the British car builder's return to its racing roots, a heritage that goes back decades. The much wider fender flares to cover its racing wheels don't hide the fact that the GT3 is based on Bentley's standard GT, which is still a popular ride for studio execs, NBA stars, LA Auto Show hosts. All right, well, maybe not NBA stars, but this car is that car as if it were doing the Tour de France. Lots of power, lots of steroids. For now, this is the only GT3 of its kind. Bentley hasn't even decided what kind of engine it likes best for the car. A V8 works, but so does a 12-cylinder. Fans trackside might expect to see the GT3 scream past the grandstands with something like 700 horsepower. That's enough horsepower to pass almost anything, except a gas station. The LA Auto Show marks the first time North America has seen Jaguar's sleek new F-Type Roadster. It's a top-down sports car that combines brand new design with just a hint of Jaguar's past. The front of the F-Type is all business. Scoops and air ducts bring extra air to the engine and cool the front wheels. Slim, high-intensity running lights give the F-Type the look of a cat on the prowl, day or night. And under the hood, there's two main engine choices, a supercharged V6 or an even more aggressive V8. If the new F-Type looks familiar, there may be two reasons. It shares the look of Jaguar's CX-16 dream car of a year ago, and also shares some design cues of the classic E-Type Jaguar from a half century ago. Car lovers call the E-Type one of the most beautiful designs to ever hit the road, until now. Inside, there's only room for two, and it's only available as a convertible, though a hardtop coupe may follow. Jaguar keeps the car's weight down by using a lot of aluminum, outside and inside, from the body to accent touches throughout the interior. There's also a grab handle for the passenger to hold on to. So when the F-Type hits its top speed of 186 miles an hour and you're along for the ride, you're probably gonna need the handle. The new Jaguar F-Type may go on sale here in the States as early as next summer. Making its debut not at the LA Auto Show, but in the CBS 2 KKL9 weather department, the Toyota Mobile Weather Lab. With more, here's Josh Rubenstein. From LA King's Holiday Ice at LA Live, this is the Toyota Sequoia. It's the largest SUV in Toyota's fleet, and that's why we chose it for our new mobile weather lab. Now, if you look past the fancy graphics, and they're pretty fancy, you'll find the real power behind this Toyota Mobile Weather Lab. This vehicle has state-of-the-art digital communication, including a rooftop-mounted HD video camera that streams live video while the truck's in motion. Along with our exclusive weather network that brings us hyper-localized data that gives us the most accurate information, we've got this 47-inch weatherproof HD monitor. It can bring us live pictures on the spot. This baby's all gassed up and ready to go. It's coming soon to a neighborhood near you. For the time being, this is my personal ride. This is a radical transformation. Toyota's all new RAV4 makes its world debut here at the LA Auto Show. It's a total reinvention of the world's original crossover SUV. And like past RAV4s, this fourth generation is bound to be a huge hit. With a fuel-efficient four-cylinder engine, new six-speed transmission, two-row seating for five, and a host of available in-cabin technologies, the new RAV4 offers a great balance of performance and practicality. 
including class-leading cargo capacity, eight standard airbags, and a compelling array of standard safety features like blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. Also standard, display audio with a six inch LCD touchscreen. Display audio includes a standard backup camera and Bluetooth connectivity. Under the hood, the new RAV4 2.5 liter four cylinder engine produces 176 horsepower and replacing the previous generation's four speed automatic is a newly engineered six speed with sequential shift engineered for top fuel efficiency and top performance. Now, people that are also concerned about fuel economy, which a lot of people are because of the gas prices here in California, we have an eco mode. So if you know you're having an inefficient driving day, it'll ease off the throttle and the AC to give you more fuel efficiency as well. The fourth generation RAV4, designed for a new generation. Toyota introduces the all-American, all-new Avalon. It's completely redesigned and re-engineered right here in the U.S. With its sleek styling, starting with a bold front end and quadrabeam headlights, to the wraparound tail lights and dual exhaust, this new Avalon is sure to be a hit. As for the powertrain, Toyota is offering the first ever Avalon Hybrid with a combined 40 MPG and delivering 200 horsepower. And Eco, EV, and sports modes are available. Plus, from the struts to the multi-link suspension, the new Avalon has been completely re-engineered for more aggressive handling and performance. Innovative technology with IntelliTouch controls, enhanced safety features like 10 standard airbags and a standard rear view camera, the all new Avalon is in fact, all new. Now for Green Car Reports, best car to buy award winner. Standing right next to it, it's the all new Prius plug-in. It's the fourth addition to the Prius family and this one achieves an incredible 95 miles per gallon equivalent. The Prius plug-in features a quick charge time from a standard 120 volt household outlet, and when it's not in all electric mode, it runs on gas like a regular Prius, getting 50 miles per gallon. Toyota's revolutionary in-car technology connects your smartphones to apps like Bing, iHeartRadio, MovieTickets.com, OpenTable, and Pandora. Plus, Entune allows you to get vital information like fuel prices, traffic, and weather, along with a lot more. Comfortable enough for five with plenty of cargo space and the Prius plug-in allows you access to the carpool lane. Here in LA, what more could you want? Actually, one more thing. Would you believe that 95% of all Prius owners don't know how to fully operate their Prius? What? Well, Erica found a solution. Buying my new Prius was great until I had to figure out how everything worked. But if you buy your car at Hamer Toyota, you get these guys, the tech team, who can help you with all of that. With every new and used car sold at Hamer Toyota, the tech team service comes free. I'd now like to introduce you to Hamer Toyota's general manager, David O'Brien. David, this service is amazing. It really is, Erica. Our tech team will show you how to use everything on your vehicle, whether it's connecting your phone, using the navigation system, or even syncing your garage door remotes. And all for free. Absolutely. We pride ourselves on giving this service to all of our customers. It's why we like to say it's better to buy your next new or used vehicle at Hamer Toyota. You sound like you're commercial, but it's good stuff, though. In fact, we're going to pay a visit later on in the show to Hamer Toyota. I'm finally going to learn how to use my navigation and maybe even how to set my clock. Don't laugh, Stryker. Lots more to come, including the new Lexus concept. Stryker pronounces big words like electroluminescent gauge cluster, and you get to meet our newest CBS2 KCAL 9 employee. And it's not even Caesar, is it, buddy? If you're making a trip to the show, make a day out of it at LA Live. From ice skating on LA King's Holiday Ice to daily events, movies, attractions, and restaurants, there's something for everyone. Plus, parking is a breeze. So when you head to the LA Auto Show, check out LA Live.
LFCC is more than just a show car. It's safe to say this is your first look at the next generation Lexus IS production car. Expect the massive grill and huge cooling ducts to be toned down a little, along with some other more radical styling cues. But otherwise, a car that's based on this one could be in showrooms next year. Toyota's upscale division wants to shake off its conservative image, and the LFCC concept is a giant leap in that direction. This experimental two-door also takes advantage of blending smooth, flowing curves with sharp angles. It's a combination that works and gives the LFCC a unique look from front to back. The back end sweeps up to give more flair to the rear tires, a good sign for a rear-wheel drive car. And the LED tail lights sweep around from the car's side in a pattern that suggests individual light beams. Inside, the driver's environment is simple, with an emphasis on luxury. Most of the instruments display on various touchscreens, and the driver's seat looks forward to an uncluttered view of the speedometer and tack. The LFCC concept could be designed to take on the Mercedes C-Class, but one thing is sure, it's definitely designed to preview the next IS model. Clearly, the company's days of mild styling are in the rear view mirror. To arrive at Audi's new S7 sport sedan, just take the company's already popular A6 four-door, squash it down a bit, then add power. Lots of power. And there you have it, Audi's new S7. A lot of the magic in the new S7 is up at the front end. Just behind the trademark grille and distinctive driving lights sits the power plant for this all-wheel drive S7, a brand new twin turbocharged four liter V8. And once you hit cruising speed, a very smart computer in the engine shuts down power to four cylinders, saving gas. That's pretty smart if you ask me. The S7 also sports a number of design cues to make it look different than the A7, like aluminum side mirrors and distinctive matte black brake calipers. Not only looking cool, these brakes will slow you down from a top speed of 155 miles an hour. Inside, the S7 features an attractive, focused interior. The supportive seats include special stitching, reminding the driver and passengers they're in something special. And four hidden microphones monitor engine noise in the cabin and send noise cancellation signals through the speakers when the Audi's in that four-cylinder mode, just so no one's distracted by a less than pleasing engine sound. The S7 is a serious car for serious drivers who want to have fun behind the wheel. GMC is all about trucks, and when it comes to pure power, nothing makes a better statement than the new Sierra four-wheel drive all-terrain. Whether it's work or play, off-road, around town, or the job site, the Sierra is ready for any job. Blending power and performance, Sierra offers the widest range of full-size pickup V8 engines, including the six-liter hybrid. Sierra's Vortec engines use an innovative Vortex technology, mixing incoming air and fuel for enhanced performance and fuel economy. With an EPA estimated 22 miles per gallon on the highway, no competitor has better V8 fuel economy than the Sierra. For safety, Sierra comes standard with innovations engineered to help give you and your passengers peace of mind. The 2013 Sierra 1500 series also received a five-star overall side crash safety rating. Add to that driver-oriented instrumentation, top quality interior design, and advanced communication technology, the Sierra puts you comfortably in command. Functionality, premium design, and as luxurious as a crossover can get, GMC's Acadia Denali is all that and more. Starting with the interior, the Acadia Denali arrives complete with the latest technologies. Innovations like the color touch radio with IntelliLink, voice control, and seamless smartphone integration. The Acadia Denali delivers a high grade of technology, standard. Include the luxurious interior, and GMC has just taken the world of crossovers to a whole new level of style. Performance wise, the Acadia Denali is powered by a 3.6 liter V6, delivering 288 horsepower. Plus, innovative traction control technology, improved performance and handling dynamics, the Acadia Denali keeps you confidently in control, no matter where the road takes you. Fantastic turning radius, great performance out of the 3.6 liter V6, and uh, handling that feels almost like a sports car. 
the Acadia Denali with its distinctive first and lasting impression. Bold lines, a confident stance, chrome details, and attention to detail all combine to elevate this crossover to premium Denali standards. The newest addition in GMC's lineup, the Terrain Denali. The Terrain's bold exterior is highlighted by signature Denali design cues and premium features. With its distinctive design, the Terrain Denali is truly in a class by itself. For starters, newly engineered handling and drive dynamics, including fully independent suspension, create a smooth premium ride. The Terrain Denali also offers two efficient and powerful engine choices, both featuring variable valve timing and direct injection technology to maximize power and fuel efficiency. Inside, GMC's attention to detail and comfort takes the Terrain Denali to a new level. Plus, it comes complete with the latest safety innovations available, like the rear vision camera system, forward collision alert, and lane departure warning. All totaled with its bold look, safety advancements, and performance, the all-new Terrain Denali is announcing its presence in a powerful way. This is the completely redesigned third-generation Hyundai Santa Fe. The company calls the exterior theme fluidic precision, and the cabin, art meets technology. And that's a pretty good description. The outside has plenty of lines and creases and shapes, all adding up to something that looks as good, if not better, than any of the compact crossovers out there. For power and handling, the base engine, a 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder, is rated at 190 horsepower and Hyundai totally revised the all-wheel drive system. The new Santa Fe also has a gimmicky feature that allows drivers to dial in steering feel from comfort to sport or just plain normal. The Santa Fe Sport model is loaded with nifty features aimed at making family buyers happy. Split folding rear seats, under floor cargo storage, an optional panoramic sunroof, standard Bluetooth, stain resistant fabrics, and even the blue-hued electroluminescent gauge cluster. In case you missed it the first time, that was the electroluminescent gauge cluster. Overall, the redesigned Santa Fe is a major improvement over the outgoing model. This year at the Honda exhibit, you'll find everything new for 2013. The all-new Accord, the new Cross Tour, the new Civic, and a lot more. And apparently you're gonna find the newest member of the CBS2 KKL9 Sports Department, Christine Leahy. Christine, what are you doing here? Well, Erica, I was just hanging out by the Honda IndyCar, and I wanted to remind you of a special race that we had. You know, the race that I won. Oh, that's not the way I remember it. Well, why don't you just let me tell the story? The Toyota Long Beach Grand Prix, part of the IZOD IndyCar Series. When it comes to extreme motorsports, this is it. The drivers are hitting 180 miles an hour on the straightaway, then shifting all the way down to maneuver the hairpin turn. It's 85 laps of pure adrenaline requiring nerves of steel, split-second reactions, and most of all, the guts to go fast. And that's exactly what I was born to do. So I found the Allenberg Racing School at the Auto Club Speedway and challenged Erica to a race. <laughs> Now, these aren't Indy cars, but they're the next best thing. Formula cars, and they're fast, really fast. Race day came, the day was sunny and clear, and I was ready to fulfill my destiny. There was just one problem. Let's give it a try, let's put you in the car. Do you know how the clutch works? You have an understanding no, of that mechanism? No, I have no idea, that? no idea. These cars are manuals. I don't drive a manual, but I couldn't let that stop me, so after taking a crash course in a manual Fiat, I was set. I feel like I should be a boxer, man. Whoa. That's Erica going 95 down the straightaway. This is me pushing at least 40, but I did manage to get my car into second gear. Stop. 
And at Allenberg Racing School, oh my gosh. everyone's a winner. Yeah. It's going really fast. <laughs> and then beating you. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. And at least I have the plaque to prove it. Coming up, the new Porsche Cayman, the new Mini, plus the side of a racing champion that few know about, but millions of kids do. And these guys are in it. Be sure to check out the LA Auto Show website for ticket information, times, and everything LA Auto Show related. Just go to LAAutoshow.com. racing icon, a 15-time funny car champion. John Force is the most influential driver in the history of straight line racing. Beyond the track, John is also a driving force in the community, helping children and families in need. I used to get tickets from the highway patrol. When I was a kid, I was always either speeding or my, my car had a bad tail light. And one day, one of the highway patrolmen asked me to go down uh, to be at a, a little thing. They were going to give some toys to the kids down in Santa Ana. John Forrest, I can't even find a word to describe him except for just use his name, John Forrest. That guy has really stepped up for Chips for Kids. Chips for Kids is the California Highway Patrol's biggest outreach program that collects and distributes toys to disadvantaged children. In 24 years, this program has seen thousands and thousands of family that we've contacted. And I'm here in Studio City at the Rad. This is how fabulous it's been here in Redondo. So many children are around the South are going to be so happy. Every time we give a gift to a child and they have this big smile, I know it means the world to that child, and it hits home for me. But Chips for Kids is more than just a wonderful toy drive. Since 1989, its impact on the community has empowered individuals and fostered life-changing relationships. Kids that have received gifts from the Chips for Kids program, they have a newfound respect for not just authority figures, but for parents. The legacy of Chips for Kids grows stronger each year. And one of its biggest supporters is John Force. His annual holiday car show serves as the largest fundraiser for the California Highway Patrol's Chips for Kids toy drive. His event alone, you have anywhere from 10 to 20,000 people. In four and a half hours, five hours, we collect 6,000 toys. We had toys as high as our building. What I did that day meant as much to me as any championship I ever won. Because instead of the cheers for me, I saw those children and my kids loved it. They were, you know, and we do it every year. And we have a huge show every year. And I'm gonna do it till I'm broke. Connected by kindness, driven to make a difference. Chips for Kids and supporters like John Force will continue to bring joy and happiness to thousands of deserving families this holiday season and for many more to come. Porsche is a race car masquerading as a passenger car, and the 2014 third generation Cayman is no exception. Making its world debut here at the LA Auto Show with a sleeker look, a new base engine, an updated interior, and a more cohesive roof design, it's clear Porsche is making the Cayman look more distinctive from the Boxster this time around. A lighter body and chassis give the new Cayman better fuel economy and a faster zero to 60 time than its predecessor. And the reason? Aluminum in place of steel is used for key body panels and components. And the new Cayman has grown slightly. The wheelbase is an inch longer and the wheels are pushed out an additional two and a half inches. 
Inside the cabin, the Cayman gains more room for both driver and passenger, the seats are lower, and the design for the gauges, dash, and center console are all redesigned with a classier look and feel. With 275 horsepower and a top speed of 165 miles an hour, complete with the latest safety features and technology to rival the competition, the new Porsche Cayman is just playing along as a passenger car. Come on, we know it's really a race car. Chrysler jumps back in the compact sedan ring with the Dodge Dart. And with its distinctive design, the new Dart is an overwhelming standout in a category screaming for a standout. Starting with the 1.4-liter turbocharged four-cylinder, just one of the three engine choices, the 184-horsepower Dart boasts an estimated 41 miles per gallon. The Dart's independent suspension is tuned for a smooth, well-controlled, comfortable, and quiet ride. Inside, a flowing dashboard and console convey a sporty feel, with higher-end models featuring a large 8.4-inch touchscreen display. And for safety, the Dart has achieved a bullseye in U.S. crash test ratings, receiving a five-star rating overall, making it one of the highest rated cars for safety in this class. The Dart comes standard with 10 airbags, along with the usual array of electronic safety systems and both blind spot alert and cross-traffic detection, which are new in compact sedans. The LED racetrack tail lamp design adds to the already impressive look. Fuel efficient, roomy, and refined, the Dodge Dart is a heavyweight contender in the compact category. The obvious trend in the auto world has been to make cars more fuel efficient, more sophisticated, tech savvy, and comfortable. And if you think that only holds true for cars, think again. Chrysler has given its line of Ram 1500 trucks some serious upgrades, even though from the outside, you may not notice them. For starters, 18 miles per gallon in the city and 25 on the highway. The new Ram 1500 has achieved best in class for fuel economy. Everything that we could touch and change and upgrade we did. Um, and you can almost stack it up against some of the luxury imports from a, from a look and feel perspective. The interior features all new climate control interfaces, multimedia and infotainment systems, and perhaps most notably, trucks with the new eight-speed automatic receive the revolutionary rotary shifter. For safety, how about more than 45 active and passive safety and security features, from airbags to an enhanced accident response system, rear backup camera, and much more. With its new V6 engine, a new eight-speed automatic transmission, and new air suspension, the new Ram 1500 remains a top-of-the-line choice in the full-size pickup market, truly engineered to move heaven and earth. All right, business owners, listen up. If you're in the market for a light-duty, high-MPG commercial vehicle, there's simply no competition when it comes to the Ford Transit Connect. First introduced in Europe, last year the Transit Connect was named number one passenger van in America by US News & World Report. And the reason is simple. The two-liter four-cylinder engine delivers 136 horsepower. Small numbers, but enough to haul a 1,600-pound payload. That's a payload comparable to many light-duty pickup trucks. The Transit Connect also stands apart from other cargo vehicles because of its sleek design and its exceptionally agile and easy to drive. Not only having best-in-class fuel economy, generous cargo space, and a more car-like interior than any other cargo van, the Transit Connect is also offered in four models. All come with dual sliding glass side doors and rear door glass. With features like a blind spot mirror, height adjustable driver seat with lumbar support, an optional in-dash computer with a touchscreen display and integrated navigation system, it's no wonder why more and more business owners are opting for a smart solution to their business needs, the Ford Transit Connect. When Ford brought the Fiesta to the U.S. a few years ago, they preserved many of the traits that made the car successful in Europe a stylish design and sporty driving feel. Plus, the Fiesta delivers in other areas that a subcompact car shopper would want. Hybrid level fuel economy, high tech amenities, and excellent safety features. Great first impressions are the Fiesta's specialty. With its well-coordinated colors and textures inside, 
sleek and racy look on the outside, it's no wonder why Ford calls it the no compromise small car. And with 120 horsepower, 1.6 liter four cylinder, the Fiesta is quick, agile, and a natural in the fun to drive category. Fuel efficiency is definitely a strong selling point for the Fiesta. With an EPA estimated 30 miles per gallon in the city and 40 on the highway, the 2013 Fiesta is a perfect choice to reduce your carbon footprint and look very stylish doing so. Speaking of stylish, they even made a matching nail polish color. How amazing is that? As it stands, the Ford Fiesta is still one of the best ways to downsize without feeling like you've made a sacrifice. Signaling the next step in Ford Motor Company's performance vehicle strategy, the Fiesta ST. The all-new ST takes performance to a new level with its 1.6-liter EcoBoost four-cylinder engine delivering 180 horsepower. It's a vehicle that customers who love to drive will absolutely love to drive. You drive that vehicle, it does not drive you. And the ST features twin independent variable camshaft timing, specifically developed to provide power and torque worthy of the ST badge. Along with the advanced engine design and inspired by Ford's racing Fiestas, the ST's sport tuned suspension and six speed manual transmission deliver an uncompromised driving experience. A lower stance, widened wheel arches, 17 inch alloy wheels, and full ST body kit complete the racing look and mirror the Fiesta WRC competition car. Bold and distinctive, embracing Fiesta's 35-year history with an infusion of futuristic looks and innovative technology, the new Fiesta ST screams performance, even at a standstill. Now for the most iconic Ford of all, the Mustang. In fact, the most iconic Mustang of all, the Shelby GT500. Ford's special vehicles team took the old aluminum block and bored it out to 5.8 liters, strapped on an enormous supercharger, and the result? An impressive 662 horsepower and a top speed of 200 miles an hour. The GT500's V8 is hooked up to an exclusive short shift six speed manual, to a carbon fiber drive shaft, and then to a beefed up rear differential. Ford claims it goes from 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds and has a top speed of 200 miles an hour. Did I already mention that? If you're planning on taking yours to the track, place your order fast. Ford says they'll be producing a limited number of the 2013 Shelby GT500s. We would like to conclude our Ford segment with a look back at just some of the landmark moments of a true automotive legend, Carroll Shelby. Making its North American debut is the second generation Mini John Cooper Works GP Hatchback. This is the newest addition and it's been manned up from the inside out. With the Fiat Abarth increasing in popularity, Mini upped the ante this year to get them back in the driver's seat. Although with only 500 of these bad boys set to hit the North American market, you might have to get yours fast. The exterior sports an aggressive new look. From the front to the rear spoiler, these additions do more than just give this car its good looks. Every detail helps bring the zero to 60 time to just over six seconds with a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Pop the hood and you'll find a turbocharged 1.6 liter four cylinder boosted up a few horses to make it the fastest production mini yet. Interior changes are functional as well. Recaro sports seats with continuous red stitching are in front and the rear seats, they're gone. 
a leather steering wheel completes the stylish dashboard, and a red crossbar is added for both form and function. Now we'll have to wait and see, can that Fiat Abarth stand up to this mini John Cooper Works GP hatchback? Earlier in the show, we introduced you to the Hamer Toyota Tech Team. It's a free service for any newer used car purchased at Hamer. And not just a Prius, any car. In fact, you don't even have to buy your car at Hamer to enjoy the service. Once again, General Manager of Hamer Toyota, David O'Brien. David, tell us what the tech team's doing over here. What we have, Erica, is we have one of our tech team members showing a customer how to pair his phone to his new Camry. Uh, it's not a complicated process, but we like our customers and our tech team to take as much time as they possibly can to understand how to use their car. So they kind of take the mystery out of it. Absolutely. But what happens if I get a new phone or if I can't figure out something else? Well, just bring it back and the tech team will take care of it. How many times can I bring it back? As many times as you'd like. And all for free? All for free. Wow. Well, that's why shopping for a newer used car is better at Hamer. Now it's time to figure out my clock. Coming up, a world-famous fashion designer collaborates on a very smart car. Plus, if you're hearing a little buzzing sound, it's the blimp, and we'll introduce you to the pilot of this crazy airship. The 15th annual John Force Holiday Car Show benefiting Chips for Kids takes place Sunday at John Force Race Station in Yorba Linda. Plus, bring a toy to CBS Studios on December 6th. You could help put a smile on a child's face this holiday season. The tiniest production car in America has a cult-like following in congested cities across the globe and is now electric. Introducing the 2013 Smart 42 Electric Drive. As an all-voltage vehicle, the Smart 42 is getting good reviews, but will it be enough to help reverse smart sagging sales here in the U.S.? Or does the smart car need a smart gimmick? CBS2 KKL 9's entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez was invited to a very smart gathering to check out the new 42 with a twist. If you're a celebrity and you want to make an outrageous statement, you enlist the help of world-renowned fashion designer Jeremy Scott. If you're a car company and you're smart, you do the same. Jeremy Scott's styles have been worn by such fashion-forward stars as Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, and Kanye West. And for the past year, he's been designing a smart car. Kanye's already seen the pictures and he's already demanding he has to have the first one. The unveiling like a runway fashion show, kicking off with a performance by indie hip hop star MIA. <laughs> The one-of-a-kind car, titled Smart for Jeremy, is tricked out with his trademark wings that become flames in the back. He says his smart car is a nod to the past. I was really inspired by the car culture of LA and how much we love vintage cars and this kind of design aesthetic that we're so passionate about here, and I really wanted to make a car that was that for today. Inside, the mirrored and white leather interior absolutely gleams. I created a new steering wheel that's actually split, and it's like a horseshoe. I made the air conditioning vents almost like a, a conical bra in a way from the 50s and I also wanted to kind of make it like a, a very expensive handbag inside, something very luxurious. The commercial version of the Smart Fort Woe will be launched in April of next year. The price? Around $24,000. Kia is not only debuting their 2014 models here at the LA Auto Show, they're also introducing the newest technology that comes with them. Yuvo is short for your voice, and that's your first clue. This advanced telematics combines an infotainment system with voice command navigation. It's called Isabel Parker. Kia's new Yuvo technology also gives you the ability to make hands-free calls, seamlessly connecting your compatible iPhone to your new Kia with complete access to an entire suite of phone-based applications. Get real-time highway conditions, make music selections, monitor your vehicle's maintenance requirements, all by voice command. Not only is Uvo eServices innovative, it's subscription-free. On your new Kia, that is. Debuting here at the show, the 2014 Kia Sorento. At first glance, it may look familiar, but there's much more here than meets the eye. With an impressive 290 horsepower, the 2014 Sorento was powered by an advanced compact and lightweight 3.5 liter V6, providing plenty of power. The 2014 Sorento's chassis has been redesigned for a smoother ride and better handling. 
and Kia's new Uvo eServices infotainment system with voice command navigation will debut with the 2014 Sorento. This is the new technology that gives you real-time highway conditions, a must for LA driving. The new 2014 Kia Sorento, blending emotion and sophistication with the comfort and practicality of a family-friendly crossover SUV. The all-new 2014 Kia Forte sedan. Embracing sleek European sports sedan styling, it's longer, lower, and wider than previous models. The 2014 Forte offers a choice of two engines, a 1.8 liter that delivers 148 horsepower and a 2.0 liter producing 173 horsepower. The Forte's wedge-shaped body design allows it to cut through the wind, reducing drag, Plus, standard sport-tuned suspension keeps the road-gripping 17-inch tires firmly planted, making the all-new Forte exciting to drive. It's comfortable and quiet, but it's also engaging, and it's uh, intended to give a little bit sportier feel. The 2014 Forte also raises the bar for comfort and roominess in a compact sedan. Power windows, power door locks, heated steering wheel, and of course, Uvo eServices voice-activated telematics all standard on every Forte model. Completely redesigned and re-engineered for 2013, the new Chevy Malibu. Stylish to turn a few heads on the road and fuel efficient to take fewer turns at the gas pump. Under the hood, the Malibu Eco with a mild hybrid system boasts an estimated 37 miles per gallon. The new Malibu is also offered in a 2.0 liter turbocharged version for those who want more power in their family sedan. The Malibu's appeal is also inside, featuring an abundance of sound deadening soft touch materials, adding to its very attractive appearance. And let's not forget technology. Chevy's MyLink system connects your smartphone to the car, plus an integrated seven inch touchscreen makes the Malibu very user friendly. The Malibu is an all-new car from the ground up, a completely redesigned. It doesn't look like anything like the other Malibus. It takes a lot of styling cues from the Corvette, from the Camaro, and when you combine the, uh, the MyLink infotainment system, it's just a great-looking car that's fun to drive and fun to ride in. The new Malibu also includes a wide range of safety features, including forward collision alert, which used to be available only on high-priced luxury cars. The new Malibu, everything you need and everything you want in a mid-size sedan. Introducing the newly redesigned Traverse. Complete with a beautiful exterior and spacious interior, the 2013 Traverse offers you the ability to set yourself apart with style while allowing you to carry everything you need thanks to class-leading cargo space. While giving you an impressive 24 miles per gallon on the highway, the direct injection V6 with standard six-speed automatic transmission provides smooth shifting and effortless quiet acceleration. With the standard 3.6 engine delivering 281 horsepower, enough get up and go to merge with confidence in highway traffic. And the Traverse is designed with comfort for every passenger in mind, including the third row that's even comfortable for adults. Traverse is really a rolling living room. It's great for families. It, it seats eight people very comfortably, and then in the back of that third row, it's got more than 24 cubic feet of space. It's a perfect vehicle for the family. Rear seat DVD entertainment, directions, and your favorite music. The Traverse is packed with the latest technology to help you navigate your journey and keep you entertained along the way. The Chevy Traverse, a classy way to get you and the whole family to your destination. Joining in on the European small car craze, Chevy introduces its newest addition, the Spark, designed to blend small car features with Chevy's attention to detail. At 84 horsepower, the Spark's 1.25 liter four-cylinder engine won't win you any drag races, but it's perfect for getting you around town. The trade-off, of course, exceptional fuel economy, an estimated 38 miles per gallon on the highway. Chevy calls the Spark the tech-savvy little mover. The first one to be designed with smartphones in mind. Pumping life into the Spark's techno heart is Chevy's MyLink infotainment and connectivity system and a 7-inch color touchscreen, a first for a vehicle in this class. With techie features like that, the Spark is destined to be a hit with the younger crowd, and that's exactly who Chevy wants to attract.
Acura is returning to the supercar game with this aggressively styled NSX concept. It's a two-seat mid-engine rocket ship that draws additional power from electric motors for all-wheel drive. Expect to hit 60 miles an hour in an amazing three seconds. This concept version here at the LA Auto Show is probably a good reflection of what the production model will look like, that is, when the NSX goes on sale, maybe by 2015. The new NSX features Acura's trademarked V-shaped grille bar and low-profile LED headlights, sure to intimidate any driver who sees them in the rearview mirror. Acura is using the same layout on this car as it did on its first generation NSX from 1995. A V6 engine mounted behind the cockpit for better balance and handling. In this car, the addition of an electric jolt at each wheel should deliver major V8 power with fuel sipping economy. The sleek lines of the NSX concept show that Acura is ready to challenge exotic car makers like Ferrari and Lamborghini again just as it did a generation ago, with the kind of reliability that Acura is famous for. And would you believe you could call this an American supercar? It's true. Though it wears the Japanese name, the new Acura NSX will roll down the assembly line in Ohio. What do you get when you combine dirt mounds with radio-controlled trucks? A little slice of heaven for little boys. And what do you get when you combine bigger dirt mounds with even bigger trucks? A bigger slice of heaven for little or big boys. Series is a short course off-road racing series holding races throughout the United States. It's sanctioned and officiated by the United States Auto Club, and the title sponsor for this series is radio-controlled car manufacturer Traxxas. The Torque Series was founded in 2009 by former motocross racer and Motorcycle Hall of Fame member Rick Johnson. Rick had hosted an off-road racing event at his Paris, California Speedway in 2008. And at that time, there were two large sanctioning bodies in short course off-road racing, CORE on the West Coast and WSORR handling the Midwest. CORE closed before the end of the 2008 season and Torque took over. With racing classes like Pro 4x4, Super Truck, and Buggy, just to name a few, short course off-road racing has gained in popularity, not only from a fan standpoint, but also with sponsors like Red Bull, Monster, and of course, Traxxas. And the races are popular with drivers as well. It's no wonder. Just give a boy some dirt and a big truck. Heaven. Well, that's it for our show. I think we've covered a lot of ground here today. We've covered a lot of ground, and there's so much to see, so you should come down to the LA Auto Show for yourself. And if you've noticed our aerial coverage, it's been provided by eBlimp. It's right there. Here it comes, hey. eBlimp.com. Larry, this man right here is flying it. He's Larry the pilot guy. Whoa, I can feel that. There's the camera. Whoa. So, Larry, is this thing, is this thing tough to fly? It's not too hard. It takes a little bit of practice, but the good news is, with every purchase, we include free flight instruction. Wow. And if you do a rental, we include a skilled operator. Nice. So can I fly it right now? No. OK, okay. bye, Larry. <laughs> All right, that's Larry, eblimp.com, and I've been Stryker. I'm Eric Olson. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Camera. Action. Test one, two, three, four. Test. Fourteen inch tires. I gotta keep going forward.